Welcome to Math We Know. Solve this equation. A cubed plus a squared is equal to 810. How should we solve it? Of course, this number is quite large. And 3 is the highest exponent. For dealing with this kind of questions, we're going to use inspection. 810, I hope it can also be written as the form something cube and then plus the number to the power of 2, just like the left hand side. We should find the prime factors of 810. 810, it is written as 2 times 3, then times 3, and then times 3, and then times 3, and then times 5. That is, 2 times 3 to the power of 4, and then times 5. I think this 3 to the power of 4 is a little, yeah, it's like a ghost. This 2 and this 5 is not very large. So I'm going to multiply by them each other, and then what should we do? 2 then times 5. It is 10. 3 to the power 4. Don't care about it. And then times 2 times 5 is 10. Isn't it? 3 to the power 4 is quite large, but it can be written as 9 squared. It can be written as 3 to the power of 2 and then all squared. Because 3 to the power of 2 is 9, so it is 9 squared. And then 10 is, sorry, oh my god, my brain is old, 9 plus 1. So that is 9 squared, then times 9, 9 cubed. And then plus 9 squared, then times 1 is 9 squared. That's the form, something to the power of 3, and then plus itself to the power of 2. Isn't it? Wonderful. Now, factor is our next work. A cube then plus a squared is equal to 9 to the power of 3 and then plus 9 squared. Okay. A to the power of 3 minus 9 to the power of 3 plus a to the power of 2 minus 9 squared is equal to 0. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use two formulas. One is a cube plus or minus b cube is equal to a plus or minus b and then times a squared minus or plus a b plus b squared a squared minus b squared is equal to a minus b and then times a plus b very good and then use it Okay, that is, okay, I'll rewrite it, and think how should we do it. A cubed minus 9 cubed, that is, A minus 9, and then times A squared, and then plus 9A, and then plus 9 squared is 81 plus a minus 9 and then times a plus 9 is equal to 0. Here, a minus 9, a minus 9. Take it out and you can get hmm, a minus 9 and then times a squared, here is 9a, then plus a, that is 10a, and then plus 81, then plus 9, that is 90. Zero. Now, there are two cases, the first case and the second case. For the first case, it's very simple and easy. For the first case, we have 
a minus 9 is equal to 0. And for the second case, we have a squared plus 10a plus 90 is equal to 0. Okay, so for the first case, a minus 9 is equal to 0, a is equal to 9. For the second case, because the delta is smaller than 0, it is b squared minus 4ac. 100 the minus 4 times 90. It's smaller than 0. So now, there aren't any real roots. But there are two other complex roots. I'm going to write them down. Okay, this is a1, okay? And a2 or 3 is equal to minus 5 and then plus or minus square root of 65 and times i. i is equal to square root of negative 1. This is our only real root. Do you get it? And don't forget to give a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, subscribe me, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.